The model behind me is a massive six bedrooms, three bathroom, two story with the master upstairs along with the laundry. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and guys today I have got a treat for you. I have a beautiful and a massive six bedrooms, three bathroom, 2575 square foot with the master bedroom upstairs. It is humongous like the master bedroom is one of the biggest that I've seen on a 2575 square foot. The first thing you want to notice is that you have this really nice two car pad right there and then you have the two car garage inside the one thing i want to mention to you is as you see those shutters those are decorative shutters and then as you see the sidings this is how the elevation of the house looks like now with the builder they always have like two or three different elevations now the price to this house is unbelievable wait till you know more so you have this really nice walkway and then this is your front porch area. It's not really big or something, but I just love the, the decorative pillars that you see right over here. So let's go inside and check rest of this beautiful house out. Hello, hello, and welcome to this beautiful and a massive 2575 square foot, six bedrooms, three bathroom. They have a bedroom downstairs with a full bathroom, and then your master bedroom, your secondary bedroom, along with your laundry, and the loft is all upstairs. Wait till you see how this house just completely opens up. So the first thing you're gonna notice is you have the six, eight door, which is a standard feature with the builder. Everything with this builder, this is the house, this is the upgrades and this is the price. And talking about the price, you ready for it? It's anywhere from 440,000 to about 450,000, all included with all the tiles that you see, 18 inch tile and all the wet areas, carpet in the bedroom. It's a really, really nice house for the price and it's right on 27 and one of the most uh, growing areas of Davenport and Claremont. It's actually in Davenport, so it's really good. And yes, there is a CDD and an HOA together. It's $239 a month. However, your HOA and CDD combined includes your internet and you have the fiber optic internet included in the price. So just keep those things in mind. And in terms of closing cost and prepaid, the builder is giving you about $15,000 and also buying the rate down to 5.65 and if it's a VA or an FHA it's 4.99 on top of 15,000. There's no washer and dryer included so keep that in mind. Your ceiling height on the first floor is 8.8 which is a standard with this builder. So as I walk in the house the whole house kind of opens up and guys if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa area this is a great resource so press that thumbs up button subscribe to our channel it's free for you but it's going to immensely help us to push our content in front of more people that are looking for homes in Central Florida and Tampa. And then right over here is your two-car garage. It is a concrete block construction, which is very same with most of the builders. They all have the block on the first floor and then the frame on the second. So just keep those things in mind. You do get this uh, garage opener included in the price and you also have your water heater in the garage. So these are a couple of things that I want to point out. Now, when it comes to the incentives, you're going to get a lot of incentives on the inventory home rather than something that is to be built. Now with this builder, this is the house, this is the price, and there you go. So right over here, one thing I do want to point out, look at the amount of space you have. So if you have a four-legged friend, this is fantastic. This could be their own bedroom, their own little retreat, or this could be the doghouse for the husbands when they aren't be behaving, I guess, uh, uh, or, or something along those lines. But right over here, you have your blinds, which are magnetic blinds, which is included in the price. And then you have the semi-private dining area right over here. Your great room or your family room or gathering room is right over here. One thing that I do do not kind of like it with this builder, they don't always put on a lot of lights here. They have a good amount of light in the kitchen area. Let me go ahead and show you there. So they have a good amount of light over here. 
However, they don't put my lights there. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, I am a strickler when it comes to kind of getting more recess lights. But you know what? For the price and for what I'm getting, I'll be okay with that. This is the size of your island. So this is really nice. And this is everything that you see. So, so you have this really nice faucet everything that you see, including your refrigerator. And yes, that is included. There is no washer and dryer. And one of the reasons for that is that they're not able to get this in time when the closing happens and that have delayed. So they were doing like 12 to $13,000 before in closing cost and prepaid. And now they kind of changed it to 15,000 because there is no refrigerator. I'm sorry, there is no washer and dryer included. This is the size of the cabinet. So this is how tall you have them with a little bit of that crown molding or that nice wood piece that you see over there. And then you have this nice coffee station here. And then you have a lot of space, a lot of cabinets over here along with a really good size pantry. I'm kind of walking back and forward today. It's just a big house, but look at the size of this pantry. I have two small boys and they are very, very picky. So whenever we travel, my wife has to carry a lot of stuff because you never know what they're going to have. And if you have boys or, or kids, let me know how your kids are because mine ones are very picky. So we don't know if they want a biscuit, they want a chips. I don't know what the hell they want. So my wife will carry everything. So this kind of pantry comes in very handy. I love that. So I, you have all this space and then right over here is your secondary bedroom. And trust me guys, when you are going to be moving over here, you're so close to Disney, just about half an hour. The, the relatives, the friends are gonna come and visit. And when that happens, they have a bedroom downstairs with the bathroom right across, which I will take you, but they have their privacy. Or if you work from home, you can make this into an office space as how the builder has set it up. And you also have the split doors, uh, cabinet space or a closet space right over there. Nothing extraordinary big about that, but you do get this carpet and then you also have the wire for your cable so you can also make this into a private living if that's what you want to do and then right across from it is your shower tub combination with these tiles and sometimes they will have the same tiles over here just a smaller one because these ones are 18 and these ones are a little bit smaller but you have the undermount sink so everything that you see is what you get and then right over here is your linen closet or the laundry space or the um, towel or whatever you want the space to be for in my household it's just a storage probably from the stuff from the pantry even though it's so big maybe some of the stuff can go like my stuff can go here so I don't have anybody digging into it but look at all this space like I really love let me go outside and show you the patio area one thing that I'm not a huge fan because it does not come with a covered patio but in terms of the price, in terms of the affordability, it's a really nice house. It's a 40 by 110, 120. Uh, like 110 is the minimum. It could go up to 120 depending upon where the lot is located. So it will go there. So you may or may not have a lot of room to be able to build a pool. Now right, guys, remember when it's like minimum, if you want to build a pool, I think it would be good if the lot is at least 115 or something. And especially you get more space on a two story because your pad is so small. So as we go upstairs, we're gonna see that they have a really nice loft, all the secondary bedroom and the laundry is over there too. Let me know what you think of this specific floor plan so far. And if you are looking, make sure to check out my other channels. We have Orlando Home Show in Espanol and if Spanish is your main language, make sure to check it out. Uh, on that because we are doing these models by amazing Anna Karina in Spanish also. We are also doing our song and dance, I guess, on TikTok and Instagram. So make sure to check us out there too. So let's go upstairs and check rest of this beautiful model out. So as I come upstairs, you're going to notice that you have the ceiling height, which is eight foot. Now this is frame upstairs, and that is the case with almost every builder other than DR Horton, or if you're building some, um, some specific models with Jones Homes or Tall Brothers, then some of their models are, are concrete block on both first and second. So this is your loft area or your private family area. And then you have a nice walkway. So you have all your other secondary bedroom and a master bedroom with the bathroom over here. So 
there's a lot of room. So if you have a big family, this could be a really, really nice house. So you have your two bedroom right over here. You have this nice window bringing in a good amount of light. And then all your blinds, as I mentioned, comes with it. So you have all this. And I always say this, guys, if you haven't watched my video, if you're thinking about building a brand new home, anything to do with construction or something, make sure to check out my playlist on building a brand new home or your ultimate guide playlist, because I have a lot of resource or a, very, a lot of resourceful videos there. So you can talk about, look and look into design center options, things that you should and you shouldn't do. You can also look into the inspections that you need to do. And right now we are kind of shooting on what the day is going to look like when you come down and see properties with us. How do we go about it? We are doing that video. It's in the, uh, it's actually done shooting. I'm just working on um, getting it edited and getting it ready and that video is going to basically show you what we do when you come down how we get everything up and ready how do we do everything so in that way you know what to expect when you are down here um, not a big fan of these ones i know that people that watch me constantly know that but you have the closet space right there and then right across from it you have the other bedroom over here a little bit smaller but I just love like a simple decoration, you know, a skateboard thing you have it there. Just a very simple decoration kind of pops the whole room out. So this is really nice. One of the good things that I love about my job is just looking at how different designer kind of design, like not design, but like interiorly do the, the furnishings and stuff so where things go it kind of really sometimes pops the whole bedroom out you have a really nice good size closet space right over here and then as I go out right across from it is your laundry space so look at this now please keep in mind your washer and dryer do not come and it's not that the builder do not want to give you they do want to do that but what's happening is that they're not getting here in time. There's still some logistics or some supply chain issues. So the things were getting delayed. So they're like, they're not doing that anymore, uh, but that doesn't hurt to ask and you may or may not be able to get. So just keep that in mind. If you are looking to buy right now, the biggest thing for you should be to look into an inventory home because the inventory home is going to give you a lot of options in terms of what you can get in terms of incentives and things so just keep that in mind also i forgot to show you that right over here you also have a space so a lot of closet space you know a lot of storage space that you have and then right over here you have the bathroom one thing good about this is that you have especially when you have a big family it's good you know while somebody's kind of getting ready in the shower tub combination here somebody could be you know just doing their makeup or just doing the brush or whatever so this really this door comes in really handy and that's kind of really, really nice but then you also have the double sink and i have two boys so i'm like Okay, this is yours, this is yours. But uh, I don't know how that works out at, at, at stuff because my boys are little right now and they're like, we're doing their thing. But hopefully as the time goes by, they can kind of split their things and do their thing. But right across from it is the other bedroom. And look at the size of this bedroom. This is a really nice, and I say this all the time, guys, that it's not the square footage that matters as much as the flow of the house. You want to concentrate on the flow of the house, the usability of the house, that it works for you and your family. A bedroom downstairs may or may not work for you. You may want a master downstairs so the kids are upstairs, you have a little more privacy, or you want to be up where the kids are. So it really depends upon your lifestyle. It really depends upon what your preference is. And there's no right and wrong because there are two-story homes where they have the master downstairs but then they have the laundry upstairs like in my current house the master is downstairs the other bedrooms are upstairs and the laundry is upstairs too but that's just the way it is so you have your closet space right over here now wait till i show you the master bedroom because the master bedroom over here is absolutely huge but before i go there let me show you the other room which is this right over here. So pretty much similar size. You're kind of a little bit up and a little bit down, but I like, I usually prefer a home 
to or, or I usually prefer bedrooms towards the end instead of in the front so that I have a nice view from the back or, or, the, or the backyard in my bedroom. And it's really nice. You have the similar kind of closet space, nothing so special, but wait till you see the massive master bedroom like master bedroom is just humongous and this is like really really cool i would have wished if they have more lights like when you have a room that is as huge as this like look at this you have a nightstand and you still have a good feet distance right there and then same thing over there I would have really loved if they would probably, maybe they would watch my videos and probably put more lights at least in the gathering room, in the master bedroom, but you really need a nice good fixture to have good light because this is Florida. It's nice, beautiful, sunny, and the next minute it could be pouring and dark and whatnot, but that's just the way it is. And talking about Florida, I was reading something and the overall increase in terms of the last five years with the appreciation all over the United States has been about 57.3%. For Florida alone, it has been 80%. And I know for a fact in some areas, in the last five years, prices have literally doubled. So if you bought something for 200, it's like 400, 450. And I am saying this because if you are sitting on the fence because of the rate and the prices, that's not the right question to ask yourself. The right question to ask yourself is if you can afford the current prices and the rates, and if this would be the right thing for you, because it's always going to be the price or the interest rate, you just need to ask the right question because no matter what you do, you're still going to end up paying a mortgage. If it's not yours, it's someone else. So just keep those things in mind. And I'm not just saying this. I have also implemented, I just bought a house myself. And, and I, I'm just telling you because when the rates changes, you can all, because the same house that if I want to build my house today, it's going to cost me $100,000 more. And I just closed on my house. So this is just some food for thought to give you a good idea because if you're buying something primarily to stay and to live in there, this is something to kind of think about it. So in that way, it would make more better and a financial sense for you and your family. So this is your master bathroom. You have the framed uh, walk-in shower, which is basically included. And then right over here is your closet. Now, as big as the master bedroom is, I would have really loved if they could have kind of taken a little bit more space and kind of given you more of a closet because this closet would be like done in like a fraction of a second, I guess, with my wife's stuff. And then I have no other place. Like I still can't find myself a place. But over here is your water closet with the door, which is great and a window so you can enjoy the view. But you have the double sink undermount sink and then this is the combination it kind of follows through let me know what you think of this specific house if you have any questions or if you want to know more please put that in the comment below and when you reach out to us please be aware that you'll be talking to somebody and please be on the lookout watch the video on my team look at our uh, reviews on zillow google facebook you know we take pride in what we do and our services to you is free so why not give us an opportunity to assist you and to educate you and make sure to check out all the other videos and also my sister channels which talks about communities and uh, we talk about school hospital shopping and not to forget orlando home show in espanol until the next video thank you for watching bye for now